Okay, so today we have a BMW X3 intermittently. It does not start. I'm gonna show you the innards of an ignition switch. So what we have is the ignition switch removed from this car. It kind of comes out, looks like this when you get it. I pop the top off and we've already removed it from the uh, steering lock housing. So here's a close up of the ignition switch. Here's position one, here's position two, and that is the start position. You can see uh, this cam rotating around, contacting all these copper uh, components at different times, right? So we're gonna take this thing apart and see what happens. Uh, what we're gonna focus on is pin number eight. The reason why we're gonna focus on pin number eight, uh, which is right here, uh, if we come from the ignition switch first, and we follow where that pin eight goes, it goes to the, the immobilizer. The immobilizer does its magic and makes sure that the key is matched up to the car. From there, after it gets done with that algorithm, it goes out from pin one from the immobilizer and it goes down here to the starter right there. And this is the circuit that we're trying to follow. So pin eight that is right there. We're gonna look at the contact in that contact right there. So how do we do that? We're gonna break this thing open. We've already got a new switch in this car. So this one's for breaking. Uh, this is once you do this to the switch you are not going to get the switch back together so the, the switch is bad at this point now so here's our cam that we just removed here's all those pieces right and what we're trying to see we're trying to look at that contact way down there so how are we going to do that we're going to pop the power out so it looks like uh, these center pins all three of these center pins are powered and then these are outputs uh, that the switch is giving power to various components in the car. Uh, pin number eight is the starter. Uh, there, I'm sure these all power up other fuse boxes, turns the radio on. This, this little box turns the entire car on. So fuse boxes and lighting the radio, the alternator, everything works off of this component. Um, and the power comes in through here. So the question is now, how are we gonna get a really good eye on the contact of pin eight? We're gonna use a little hammer and kind of tap these two guys out of here. Okay, so we're just gonna tap this guy out of here. Let's see if we can't tap him out. Maybe we can't, I don't know. I was trying to bring like the light tools to be nice to it, but maybe I need to go get some heavier tools. Let's go get some heavier tools. So we're looking for, we're looking at this contact right here, this little tiny contact. That's what tells the starter to start. And then it makes a contact against this component right here. What we have right here is we have uh, 12 volts coming into that pin right there. And then right now it's an open circuit. When you hit the starter on the switch, you close the circuit right there that those two contacts make contact. And then this signal goes out to the, uh, EWF, the EWS, and then it goes to the starter. So you got 12 volts coming into this pin. You connect the circuit. It goes over here to the EWS. The EWS says, yes, the key is good. And nobody's trying to steal the car it completes a circuit to the starter and then the starter starts. So that's how it all works. That's the, that is the innards of the ignition switch. If you look at the middle of that contact point, you can actually see how it's got a divot in it. That divot should not be there. I just took the liberty of removing the other, the three center pins, the three powers that were in the middle there. And I remove those, and if we look at all the contact points on these, they all look, see how that one does not have a crater in the middle of it? 
I'm going to turn it around to the other side. That one also does not have a crater in it. You can see it's been contacting. The car has 100,000 miles. It's 15 years old. You can also see this one. This is the other one. There's three of them, right? So here's the third one. Little teeny tiny bit of a crater developing right there. Flip it to this side. Little teeny tiny bit of a crater there. If we look at our starter. Look at our starter contact. That's bad. That's a bad contact right there. That's a huge crater. So it was intermittently not making a contact. All kinds of things can cause this um, to happen. So that is the inside of an ignition switch. You saw the bad contact point, that crater, and that will make your car not start. Thank you.